Welcome to this blender tutorial where we'll embark on a journey to craft a stunning lavender scene together. Begin by selecting the cube, then press X and delete it to clear the canvas. Switch to the front view by pressing numpad 1. Add a curve path by navigating to a shift plus a and selecting curve a path. Rotate the path 90 degrees and adjust its depth to 0.1 in the geometry settings. Ensure to check the Fill Caps option for completeness. Enter Edit Mode with E tab, then select the top vertex of the path. Activate Proportional Editing and sculpt it into a stem shape using Alt plus S. This forms the lavender stem. Switch back to Object Mode by pressing Tab. Add a cube using Shift plus A and Mesh Cube. Apply a Subdivision Surface Modifier with Ctrl plus 2. Scale the object along the z-axis to elongate it. Right-click on the object and choose Shade Smooth for a polished appearance. Adjust the subdivision surface level according to your preference. Shrink the object size by pressing S. Maneuver the object with G and position it at the top of the stem using G plus C. Return to Object Mode with Tab. Select Face Mode and choose the faces at the bottom of the object. Snap the cursor to the selected faces with a Shift plus S, then select Cursor to Selected. Back in Object Mode, right-click and select Set Origin Origin to 3D Cursor. Switch to Top View with Numpad 7. Duplicate the object with a Shift plus D. Rotate the duplicate 90 degrees along the Y-axis. Duplicate again and position the duplicates to create lavender flowers. Use Ari to rotate the flowers for natural variation. Select all flowers, duplicate them with a Shift plus D, and arrange them further. Duplicate the flowers again and continue to populate the scene. With the flowers complete, let's add leaves to enhance realism. Add a plane with a Shift plus A and Mesh plane. Shift the plane aside and rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Begin shaping the leaf by scaling it along the x-axis with S plus X. Enter Edit Mode with a tab. Disable Proportional Editing and add loop cuts with Ctrl plus R to define leaf segments. Bevel the center edge and create a vein using Ctrl plus B. Select the top vertices of the leaf and merge them at the center using M Merge at Center. Scale and shape the top and bottom of the leaf using S plus X for a tapered appearance. Switch to Edge Select Mode, select the center edge, and move it along the Y axis with a G plus Y to create a central vein. Return to Object Mode with E tab and select all elements with A. Extrude them with E for added depth. Use Alt plus left mouse click to select the leaf's edge, then add a slight curvature inward with G plus Y for a natural look. Switch back to object mode with E tab, then apply a subdivision surface modifier with Ctrl plus 2 for smoother edges. Right click and select Shade Smooth for a polished appearance. Snap the cursor to the leaf's bottom vertices with a Shift plus S and cursor to selected. Turn off the X-ray view, then activate the magnet icon and enable a face project and a line rotation to target. Move the leaf to its position using G and rotate it to the correct orientation with OR. Use OR twice to adjust if necessary. Similarly, duplicate the leaf with a Shift plus D, then move it using G to create another leaf.
Resize it as desired with S. Select the entire lavender scene and align it using G, J and a Z. Tilt it slightly with a R to avoid a perfectly straight alignment, as we'll add another lavender beside it. Move it aside again using G, K and X. Turn off the magnet tool. Duplicate the lavender scene with a Shift plus D, then tilt it using a R and position it beside the original using G along the x-axis. Rotate the duplicated lavender using the R and a Y to vary its orientation. To avoid uniformity, deselect the bottom flowers. Correct any incorrect selections using Ctrl plus left mouse click to deselect. Hold a shift to select multiple objects. Delete the selected objects with hex. Voila! Your lavender scene is complete. Snap the cursor to the world origin with a shift plus S, and cursor to world origin. Add a plane with a shift plus a. Scale it up with S to serve as the background. Switch to camera view with a numpad zero. Before that, click on the camera and set up the render engine to cycles, with max samples at 128 and viewport at 64. Set a medium high contrast in the color management section. Adjust the image size to 1080 by 1080, suitable for Instagram. Set the camera to orthographic type for better control. Position the camera closer and move it along the y-axis with a G to the desired location. Click on the plane, then scale it up with S to fill the camera view with the background. If you accidentally select the lavender, deselect the background by right-clicking while holding control. Then, use R to rotate the lavender freely around the z-axis. Switch to material preview mode. Deselect the leaves with Ctrl plus left mouse click, then select one of the lavender flowers while holding Shift. Add a new material and choose a lovely shade of purple. I prefer lowering the roughness for a shinier effect. Then, copy the materials to the selected flowers. Select the stems and leaves while holding a shift, then add a new material and choose a green shade. Copy the materials to the selected objects again and adjust the roughness to 0.4. Click on the plane and choose a green shade for the background. Opt for a slightly different shade with higher roughness for variation. Switch to render preview mode. I apologize in advance if the video lags, my laptop's performance isn't top notch. Click on the point light and switch it to a sun lamp. Adjust its strength to 3. Lighten the world color for a brighter ambience. Add an area light with a shift plus a, then move it towards the lavender scene with G and a Z. Set its strength to 400. Adjust the sunlight to a warmer color temperature. 
Click on the area light, then duplicate it with a Shift plus D, and position it. Set its strength to 200. Set its strength to 200 for consistency. When you're satisfied, it's time to render. Click on a render, then a render image, or simply press F12. Thank you for joining me on this creative journey to craft a beautiful lavender scene. If you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates and tutorials. Happy blending, and see you in the next video.